job trailer just released for Dawn Trail. Um, I'm going to try and do a react video. I've never done one of these before, so this is kind of a new. What we'll do is we'll watch the video in its entirety, and then I might go back into it and view certain things. I'll try not to pause it. Viper LB3? Oh, that's sick. They're so shiny. Ooh. Oh, it's faster. Sick. <laughs> oh, yeah, they brought back the stripper pole. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Big finisher. Holy crap, that was cool. Paladin. Combo. Oh, some mitigations. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, is that the finisher? Oh, there we go. Nice. Warrior, yeah. Power up. Oh! I think that's new. Okay. There's the new mitt, I think. Good old fell leaves. Ooh. Oh! Sick! was massive. Astrologian? Okay. Ooh. Five? Oh, no. Giving out different cards. Oh. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. There's so much happening. Nice. Dancer. Okay, there's the dance partner. Get the feathers. Hmm. 
Oh. Big dance. Wow. Huge. Get Reaper. I've been leveling this one recently. Sick. Oh, is that a new ranged? Red Mage. Let's see what they're going to change about this. combo. Interesting. Sweet. Here we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Genius. Good old flamethrower. That saw? Oh, this is saw. <clears throat> Drill. Nice. This bio. I mean, not the queen. Nice. Bring out the big guns. <laughs> Ninja. I'm gonna have to show the bunny ears. <laughs> Okay. Sick. Let's go Sage. Still leveling this one too. Almost 90. I think I'm 88. Mega Bibu! Sweet. Black Mage. I've heard some things about their ley lines. The ley lines. Mm 
Oh shit. What? Is that fire eight? <laughs> I have no idea what they're going to be doing. Okay, so some range attacks. Gap closer. Going to our one, two, three, I think. This looks fun. Kind of look at the gauge as it's doing this. It's hard. <laughs> okay, it's glowing now. Got three red stones, five of the blue. Oh! What the heck? What? What? It just keeps going! <laughs> that was crazy! White mage. Oh, we're gonna have to take a look at that again. Oh my goodness. Big heels. I'm watching the lilies. Mm -hmm. Comes a big AoE. That benediction? No. Nice. Ooh, there's the wings. Let's go. Yeah. Holy. Throw a holy follow up now. Nice. Monk. Okay. New punch gauge. <laughs> the one in the middle there. Nice, nice. Hey, Dark Knight, let's go. This one's one of my favorite. I should play it more, though. Become the Shadowbringer trailer at the end there. <laughs> that's so good. Okay, Bard. Oh, this music is nice. Okay, getting our dots up. Very nice.
Mm-hmm. Nice AoE attacks. Ooh. That was a nice finisher. Okay, let's go summoner. This is my main. Starting off with Phoenix. Kindle. All right, we got our regular attacks. Pain player and Fester. Ruin four. Okay, got our Ifrit out. They didn't show the charge, okay. Hitting our Titan. Ruda. I guess they just want to get to Bahamut. Or whatever's new. Oh, look at that gauge. Oh, what the... Shit, what even was that? <laughs> Just new Neo Bahamut, I don't even know. We're gonna have to take a look at that. Samurai. I think Samurai is one of the easiest classes to play. Melee DPS. Nice. Okay, we got all three. Ooh, yeah. Scholar. Calculated. <laughs> Look at this zone, though. Is this one of the new ones? I think so. I'm gonna sneak that in there, you know? Double fairies all the way across the sky. <gasps> they get wings? Ah! Well, shit. That was cool. Ooh, picked a mancer. Okay, there's the job gauge. with the bonk. Good little dragon. Little moodle. We're doing the finisher. Ooh, a cat's paw. Bite. Ow. Nice. Is that like their ley lines? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it wasn't even finished yet. Oh my, okay, we're watching that again. Oh, wow. Gunbreaker.
there's the new ones. Nice. Very explosive. Very good. Damn. That was sick. Alright. So, yeah, July 2nd. Um, yeah, let's take a look at those. It's very interesting because they show them, like, not in the way that you would be using them in your opener. They're just showcasing the abilities. So... Um, and it's, like, slowed down. So, like, when you're playing them at, like, level 90 content, you're doing most of those abilities. Like, they're overlapping the animations, so you're not seeing them as much. So it's cool to actually, like, have them showcase like this. But I wanted to see... I think it was Dream's finisher. Yeah, there's Star Diver, and then boom! Let's get a let's get a freeze frame of that. <laughs> okay, so we got like. Some of this, like, magic stuff exploding out. Rocks, obviously, exploding. Lightning. Like, fire and, like, this comet. And, like, I think there's a ground effect on there, too. And then um, just the general explosion noise that they put, which is in 2D space, on most of their effects. And we got these, like, swirls. That's mad. Man, like, imagine playing without limited effects on. Like, you can't- you won't see anything on your screen. You'll just see this the whole time. <laughs> That's really cool, the, these patterns they got going around here. I didn't really think Paladin was that interesting. Like, the ending combo to their- I think it's their magic combo? Just had one extra finisher? I didn't catch their new mitt, though. Um, I think more- I don't play Paladin very often, so... And we got the wings. Yeah, it was just like that little sparkle at the end. Okay. Uh, Warrior's got some nice stuff. Okay, so right off the bat. I think that's new. Yeah, that looks crazy. Is it using gauge? Yeah, <clears throat> so it uses gauge. Okay, that's the new mitt. <clears throat> um, and I believe you can protect another party member with that. I'm not sure how that works. In the, in the other trailer, they showed them like standing in front, or maybe it's like an AoE around them. That looked like really, like a really fun way to like save a party member. I really like the fire with the purple crystals though, and like this, uh, like the darker elements to the fire really makes it look like, like the crystals protecting and the fire is like, rear. <laughs> the magma. The inner beast. Okay, that looked like an upgraded version of a mitt. Okay, that, that looks new. I've never seen the barbed wires on my warrior. These are all like in between your fell cleaves. I wonder if they're off global cooldown. Yeah. 
that. That's so sick. I like how their axe grows like two or three times bigger. Like, look at this. I want to see what this looks like on my Lollafell, because, like, it's, like, normally their axe is, like, this big around them. And, like, this is two and a half times <laughs> bigger, and it's like, they're, like, dragging magma out of the ground. <laughs> oh, boom! Oh, it's coming from their axe. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, uh, Astrologian had so much going on. I, I think they, they rework some of this. I don't know. They, I thought they weren't, but every time I play this class, I'm just like lost. Okay. That looked really sick, actually. This right here. Boom! That little, like, slash right through the middle. Okay, let's break that down. So we've got... We've got the animation beforehand that, like, draws your eye in, right? So it's gonna swirl in right to this point. Whoop. Oh, okay, so it catches you, and then it swirls in, and then it, like, shows the symbol. That's all, like, that's all the, the gods. Boom! That is so cool. Okay, so we've got, like, several, like, 2D, um, space elements mixed in with, like, a bunch of 3D stuff. So this is obviously going to be in like um, screen space, so it's going to be 2D, so this will always like show that way. And then we got the 3D explosion, there's two of them, it looks like. With like, um, they've got the regular explosion noise, but in a, this gold. And then they've got this starry night noise in there as well. And then of course the starburst. and they've got a little bit of like um like a <clears throat> not a, quite a sphere but like if you were to just take a chunk of the bottom of the sphere they've got this like aoe on the on the ground kind of going up and swirling nice that's a very nice effect it's i think <clears throat> there's a reason why they showed it at night time though <laughs> I'm sure you'll miss a lot of the details during the day. Oh yeah, there's like that another... This right here. So we got like another... Like a darkness kind of 2D effect going on. Very nice. Very nice. They, they have really nice noise patterns for their effects in the in this game oh yeah and i think these stars are are these in 3d space that would be cool if like you could rotate around and those stars rotate they might be 2d as well or in 2d space rather yeah that's nice that's really nice Okay, that's I wish that effect was a little bit longer. It looks like they're raining like cards down. Yeah, it's so fast. I can't even like catch one coming down. Okay, so they're just like light beams, but it, it almost looks like they're, it's cards coming down. Because you can see like this rectangle shape in here among this beam shape. 
So I think that's them trying to like in motion. This is obviously a freeze frame in motion. Um, this doesn't look like a card, but in motion, I think this does look like a card, which is the effect here. This is really cool though. Like, I wish this was a little bit of a longer thing to see. Yeah. Oh, what was that? So, uh, or is that just a regular move? Because they like they put the card on them on the red mage. And then everyone gets buffed by this. Are they also getting buffed by the cards that you put out? Yeah, see, they, they drew another card and everyone got buffed. Well, this looks like they're one of the regular. No, this doesn't look like a move they already have. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just let me show you the galaxy. <laughs> All these little planets in there too. Nice. Little nice details. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's just pretty. I have no idea what's going on though. That's that's one problem with the. Uh, Astrology Dancer, I don't know that well either. So we had, um, this. Yeah, I know that's like the big combo finisher. This is new. Yeah, that's cool. It's almost like a blue phoenix, but not really, because it's got pointed wings, not feathery wings. It's got a beak. wonder what it is. Okay, there's the feathers. Okay, it was just the pose I paused at. I don't know if it's a specific bird or if it's just generic. Yeah, that's cool. Look at all the like, like the feather rain afterwards. Yeah, that's a nice effect. The way that they float up after they've hit the ground. Yeah, that's cool. Here we got the big dance. Buff. This is the new one. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So it looks like it's a like you do the dance and then it has a finisher. That's cool. It's not as flashy as some of the other finishers, but dancer is already a pretty flashy class. So it's nice to have it a little bit more tamed down. Yeah, that's really nice. Just this big uprising explosion makes you feel super powerful. Okay, Reaper. I, I mean, I haven't played ninety Reaper yet because I'm still leveling it. I'm like eighty five or eighty six. Nice. That's so cool. Yeah. I think that was their new big finisher there. So we've got three of these moves I don't recognize. Is that part of the last one or is that a new one? Let's see here. It's part of the last one. Okay. It almost looks like he's summoning two black mages <laughs> and their ley lines. Like, <laughs> oh, 
boom so much. I love how they're like incorporating like both of the colors in here, and then they have the purple in the middle. Um, because most of your moves are either this turquoise or this cherry, and then to have that thematic purple in there as well is really cool. And then this is very familiar looking. It almost looks like Ninja or Dark Knight, somewhere in between. Obviously, it's Reaper's own thing, but. Uh, okay, so Red Mage. I honestly, I, I got Red Mage to 90 and just forgot about it. Um, I haven't played it at all in this expansion. But it looks like they broke the melee combo up into two sections. Because now we're doing magic again. Because these are all spenders, they're not it's not increasing gauge. Oh yeah, so there's the three combo that we're used to. That's, that's really nice. I like the little rose theme going on there. We've got like the, the vines wrapping around with the petals and then this like repeating blast cannon effect. It's like, <clears throat> it's really nice how they did this one. I wonder what it would look like if you're like at perfectly perpendicular or if it's always going to be if they have a smart way of doing that. Yeah, and there's the rose the rose thorns and petals again at the end there. Oh, you got these little bits going on there too. Yeah, I like how it just goes whoosh. Like it's going down the center column, but then it's also like got that arc on top of it. So you have these ones that are more like the rings, but at the end it's got that arc. Yeah, it goes like, whew, that's nice. That's a really nice touch that they added at the end there. Nice. Okay, Machinist. We saw the big, they brought out the big guns right at the end here. Okay, right here. <laughs> I wish I could like zoom in. Oh, I can't in full screen. Look at that, just... <laughs> There's got the four cannons, or barrels, and, like, these giant clips. And then you also got, like, this guy on top who's doing, like, missile strikes, and... I like how you're, you're shooting, like, out this way, but it's all landing out here. It's like you're... It's like that one movie where, you're, like, you're... You're like spinning the your bullet or moving, you know that. Oh, what was that really dumb movie? That's what it's like. I mean, the pose is so powerful, though. Boom, boom, boom. I think this explosion could have been a little bit like more of a pillar on top of it. It's, it's still like how it wraps up and swirls up. That's really nice though. Yeah, just like there's like a chain explosion going up. I don't know if you can see my mount. Yeah, okay. Oh. Sometimes if you click too fast. That's really nice. So it's got like the, the base explosion and then it does boom boom and then there's the final one up there. Pretty cool. Ninja. I struggle with ninja. <clears throat> I think it's like a... Like all the different combos, I don't memorize them. I get them backwards and on top of that... Like you have to have good ping. <laughs> I think that was the new finisher there. 
So it's a little bit more subtle because, you know, it's a ninja. Okay, so we got all these things swirling in. We got the thing coming up from the ground and then we've got our, <clears throat> I guess our bubbles. Like this one's electric, this one's wind, this one's water. And is there a fire one? Oh, it, okay, it transforms, yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we got like the six-sided explosion here. And like this outward burst with like the particles of different elements flying out and spinning like a vortex. Okay. Ooh. Very nice. Did they have a, a new movie opener? That looked... Was that the new one? That's the new one. Look at that again. Okay, did that use gauge or anything like that? Yeah, it used 50. Okay. Sage. I'm still leveling this one, so I really don't know what's new. Like, everything looks new. <laughs> Make a B move! There's the finisher. That's got a really nice sound to it. The way that like echoes reverberates outwards. Very nice. I would have just I'm I know they're showcasing it, but Okay, was that is that the new one? That one right there. I mean other than the ley lines moving. Okay, so what triggers the ley lines moving? That its own ability? It did like a fire and ice eruption right afterwards. I'm looking at the gauge to see if that's a spender. Oh yeah, it's spend that thing. So, I haven't played Black Mage in so long. Maybe that's just like... Okay. Okay, that was new, so it used all of this, right? So, here we are. We're doing our fire fours. We got six seconds left. And then it refreshed. What did it refresh from?
Did they throw in a quick little... something beforehand? Okay, so that was the big spender here. Powering up a super flare. <laughs> it's almost like the like nuclear blast rings coming up. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's very short though. I don't know if that is the big one, the big new one. I think that's Simo Blossom. Yeah, they did it again there, so they spent that. And then they still got this. Okay, so maybe you get to do it twice. <clears throat> right, Viper, so this is all new. I'm gonna pay more attention to the gauge. Building this up to a hundred. Maybe? Oh no, we got 30 seconds to do this. And it just goes nuts. Jeez. I'm trying to figure out what the whole point of this gauge is down here. Because it goes red and then it goes blue, and then sometimes one side glows, sometimes the other side glows. Okay, so they were both sides were lit up and then glowing. And then it switched to blue. So let's see, was that something that's is it an ability that switches to blue or is it um included in an ability? Included in an ability, okay. And then it got spent, now it's charging again. Other side. Charging this up. It only says 50 though, so I'm not I'm not sure what uh, this spender in the middle is. And then there's these three dots. Those look like AoE combos. Okay, so he did his, like, um, Super Saiyan. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there it is. Just, like, the huge sword. I mean, you know. And then he's got these five charges, and then he just goes... One, two, three, four, five, the finisher, but you still got like this gauge. I don't, I don't know what any of that is. So that's going to be interesting to, uh, figure out. I mean, I, I'm sure, you know, they've, they've got it streamlined by now, um, with how the, the job gauges build up. Uh, White Mage, I, I, it's just pretty to look at. I really don't know what's going on. Um. Yeah, there's the big AoE heal. Okay, so that looked like that used up the bill. I think the, the holy finisher is what's 
pretty cool. So I'm gonna pop wings, and then they're gonna come forward. That's really beautiful. So they, they pop the holy, and then they've got a little rain down effect afterwards. Yeah, that's really nice. How like it's like feathers falling, but not really. Oh, they're just like spinning and slowly falling. Okay. Yeah, while well, like the rest of the effect is is going up, so it makes it look like they're falling um, even slower because it's like reverse directions. Very nice. Okay, monk. I have no idea what's going on in monk. <laughs> it's doing some stuff. But they basically like charge up a fireball and then like double punch it forward. Or sing or just one big punch. Boom. Yeah, it looks like it's the the left hand there is just going like huge wind up. And then Boom. Yeah, they like quickly switch feet so they do a little like a 180 with their feet and then they just boom punch this fireball into the target for a massive explosion that's nice that they get some more ranged because i don't think monk has any range before that <laughs> okay dark knight such a cool class Summon your friend, yeah. Is that gauge different? Like, we've got the two numbers now. Yeah, this is your fray right here, and this is something else. It only lasts for 20 seconds? Yeah. <clears throat> Boy, okay, like the the splitting of the worlds on that is just Imagine if this is bigger though, like, you know, in the actual Shadowbringers trailer, like, it's like the entire <laughs> screen. <laughs> There's so many effects going on at once. Oh, Frey does it as well? It is blue though. purple. I think, do you get wings or is that just the camera angle? I think these are your wings coming out of your back. You're doing all this sword stuff, and then you do the flip, and then the wings shoot forward with the attack, with this line on the ground.
Yeah, because the wings move with your character, like the way it rotates. Unless it's just the camera angle. Dawn Trail, the expansion of everyone getting wings. Because <laughs> Scholar got them through. Yeah, this is definitely coming out of their back. That's really cool. Nice. Okay, Bard had... I think they got a new song, but I don't... I can't differentiate the songs. Well, there's, there's these three. That's normal. And then they used all three. It looks like it. So they, they've got... Yeah, so ha they had all three songs. And this has something else. <clears throat> and so long. I mean, they're playing Army's Peon right now. Okay, there's the Wanderer's Minuet. Mage's Ballad. Army's Peon. Yeah, so that's just the three songs. Okay. Very nice. Okay, Summoner. Oh man, that looks so nice. <laughs> So they didn't show everything. Yeah, they didn't even show um, your heal. So they showed the single target, they showed Phoenix's single target, and then they showed your AoE. And then they showed in Kindle, but they didn't show your heal. Wait, 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 is the time for Phoenix less? Oh, it's still 15. Okay. I'm just... Yeah, we're gonna get Ifrit first. Or, oh, yeah, we're doing our regular moves. So single target, AoE, Devotion. Those two kind of look new. Yeah, what was that? Okay, that that one was a spender, so it used our um, either gauge. That was Pain Flare. Recognize that from the sound. <laughs> Ruin 4. This was immediately in the Titan. into Gerudo. So they just want to show the new Bahamut. Look at this. Okay, this gauge is a sword. Its wings are now swords. It's got like, almost like swords instead of spines. Spikes or whatever that is. Purple glowing eyes. Yeah, these are definitely swords because they've got hilts and handles and everything. And guards, cross guards. Okay, I gotta see which move is what. <clears throat> because. Okay, so we got the summon. Okay, so summoner is doing an action here. This looks like the new. Death Flare, because he just summoned, so he can't be doing in Kindle just yet. Unless it's... 
Is it a 15 second? It is. Okay, the animation is like... Four seconds before they actually appear. Okay, and then he's just doing his auto attack. Okay, that looked like our AoE, because that looked like Tri Disaster, but like Bahamuted. Okay, that's that's the Enkindle. Okay. Yeah, because he gets all powered up. He's doing his thing, and our summoner here did the little, like, point forward thing, which is the tell your summon to do something action. And I, I like the little effect on the book there. We'll talk about that. <laughs> I'm just looking at, like, the, the, the signs to see what's what. Just so much, so much, so much, so extra too. Yeah, what was that little thing beforehand? I saw a little like shield almost. Okay, yeah, so that first one definitely was our like the new death flare because we do the thing where we rise up in the air. that see we're up in the air that's our death flare okay confirmed <laughs> that's like ruin 10 <laughs> it's like okay so like this has almost the same animation as ruin 4 but we've been like thematically upgraded to this like neo bahamut or whatever this is i'm just calling it neo bahamut i don't know um Death flare. Boom. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. And then in Kindle, of course, is just like the huge, huge Ockmorn explosion. if I'm even going to go into the effects of that. It's just... Okay, so it looks like those swords are... These are 3D objects because we can see the thickness as they're rotated on the handle here. We've got the, the plane on the bottom and then the particle effects rising and then just the explosion with the light pillars and this giant sword. I wonder if it's coming down or if it's going up. We've got so many things happening. So we got these sparks flying out in looks like flat flattened cones. And then we've got these pillars, which I think are in 2D space. These are in 3D space. The swords are in 3D space. And we got this thing up here. Okay, so it looks like it's a, a pillar with a texture going up. And then it, it closes in. Yeah. Is it mirrored? No, it's not mirrored. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then and like the warping happenings because they're like stretching it both upwards and inwards as it closes. Very nice. The particle effects too. And then the, the shattering. <laughs> 
Oh, and this ground quake has a little extra added detail afterwards. That's really nice. It happens so fast, though. I mean, it feels very impactful and powerful. Okay, Samurai. This looks similar. Okay, yeah. It just it just looks like your big uh, finisher just got upgraded. And then, of course, you get to use it twice because that one ability. But it looks like they just upgraded this one ability. Because you're doing... Okay, this one had so many changes in it. Let me turn this down a little bit. Just take a second to look at this zone, okay? So, like, we've got this tree. The, like, this is what gave it away first, and then the, these plants. Because I wasn't so sure about this foreground, and then I saw this tree in the background, I was like, I've never seen a tree in the game that looks like this. Yet. Um, unless I've been blind to something. But this all looks new. So this is definitely one of the new zones. <laughs> Let's talk about Scholar. <laughs> Interesting to put the gauge up here. So look at that. Double double fairies across the sky and then you get your wings. Oh, you get a robe and a headdress? Yeah, because she's wearing like the little scholar hat and then she's got cat ears and I think a ponytail. And then she turns into that. So she's got a crown. She's got long white hair that flows with the dress. You basically transform into someone new. I wonder what that's like as different races. Like, are you just transforming into this character, but is d your own race? Because the, the tail's gone on the cat girl, right? So I wonder if, like, you're Lollifel, you turn big, or if you're... Rogue in you tune small. Um, but yeah, you got some red feathers, some black feathers with the tan going on here. We've got these little uh, filigrees on the dress of more wings wrapped around on the back. Okay, this is really cool actually. Just vortexing in or around okay you sent your little two fairies over here and we've got this up here so it's almost like you're doing like um <clears throat> like summoner like you know how you you summon bahamut you've got this gauge and then the timer yeah see there it is it's all lit up you got 22 seconds And your fairy is repeating its own thing on its... Wow. And she's... The fairy's transformed as well. That's a different model. That's really cool. Pictomancer. Okay, so I was really worried when they released Pictomancer at first. The effects for Pictomancer looked way too cartoony. Like, and I know some of the effects in this game kind of do look cartoony, but they were, like, way too flat-colored cartoony. And, but in this, they... I don't know, I really like them. They're... They changed them subtly, but... It could have just been the trailer they showed beforehand. Yeah, so these have way more, like, lighting shape information. You know, before it was, like, two colors. It was the highlight and then the flat color. But this one has the highlight, the flat color, and then the shadow as well. And just that one difference, like, makes it fit more in this game than 
what it was before. I mean, we are kind of zoomed out, so... <clears throat> but we definitely have more colors going on here. So before it was like very, very flat, right? It was, it was like two-toned. But we're definitely getting... So we've got the edge highlight, and then we've got the edge shadow, and it fades off on the end, ends there. Yeah. Like before, it was just, it was very, like, very 2D, flat colored. Um, and it still kind of is, but you at least have that shadow in there now. That's really nice. And that looks way better than before. Well, I don't think they showcased that one. I think they showcased the ice, but still. Yeah, so like, even if it's just flat colors, like we still have some gradation in there, but like we have the three, you've got the highlight, the shadow, and then the actual color. But it looks like there's, there's two uh, main colors and then the highlight and shadows. So it just fits a lot more in, in this, in the game world. And then of course you have the opacity, which adds to the uh, whole effect as well. The little Moogle Kubo nut drops or something. What are those? Yeah, see they added the shadow in these. I mean, it's very, it's still very 2D effect and you know, but they've got 3D-esque elements like lighting and stuff like that now. So that's really nice. Something we didn't get to see before when they first showcased it. It looks like these are all in 2D space as well. That's nice. That's a really nice effect. Spinning hammer and then the woof. Yeah, we've got like these spike explosions coming out. And then I think this is in 2D space. This is in 3D and this is in 3D, but everything else is 2D. Nice little explosion effect there. Yeah, this is in 3D. So this is like a, almost like a, um, a disc. So you can see both sides of it and you're getting that shadow in there. So that's really nice. And then here it is again. This is, this is also like the same disc. Oh, did the thing. Awesome. That's a fun, that's a little fun little move right there. Spinning the hammer. And then a little brief pause. I love this wind up. This is such a good pose. Boom. I like how it, yeah, they just go like, they show the pose and then they go into the next pose and then the effects are leading the eye into the pose. That's a very nice, that's a very nice way of doing it. And then, yeah, just the slow uprising to sell it, to sell that impact. And I think this squishes down. It looks like it has a little bit of a squish. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, they've got some uh, squash and stretch. Even as you're spinning around, it gets like flattened in this direction. And then we see the full pose and then boom, it's squished down and then really squished down at the end there. Like it's not going into the ground. That's, that's really nice. It, I mean, it's cartoonish, but I mean, it really sells it. And of course this explosion going on here is wonderful. Oh, I love that do, 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 do all like the little hits. This boom. And then this little star. <laughs> It's, it's different than the other stars, which is really nice. Boom. Yeah, so it's like a gradient. 
And then the other ones are a little bit softer and just like solid color. Ooh. I mean, there's these stars. I'm talking about the other stars before. Let me do... Okay, there's the Mog Cannon. Okay. So we've got these three icons there. Oh, now it's powered up. Okay. So... Oh, that's really nice. I didn't notice that before. So we've got these little swirlies up here and then the stars coming down. Chomp, and yeah, and this person, whatever that is, just comes up and is like, hey, hey, <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, they use that, which is, this looks like, oh, maybe this is your, your buff? Similar to like Devotion? A lot of those we saw before, so let's break that down. So here comes the little ice. Yeah, see this one definitely still looks a little flatter than all the other ones. But you are still getting the shadow in there. I mean, it's an, it's an emission shader, so it's they have to paint in the shadow itself. And then it like crumbles and then breaks apart. And we've got the granite jail. Boom. What is that, like four frames? One, two, three, four. There's our little dude. Look at that okay they got the claws and then similar to that red mage effect so i think these are i think the, some of these are spheres looks like some of these are actual 3d objects and these are all 2d but they look like there's so many different like particle effects I love that delayed explosion because like the first one comes down and it is like a little mini explosion well it, um, well okay that's not mini but like this a little dust cloud forming out and then boom just this massive thing comes down and are the ribbons going out and the stars coming down Oh, okay, so this, there are trails from the stars. So they're going down with the stars. And then everything's swirling around. And look how many stars there are. There's like a thousand. And then we've got these trails going out. And then we've got rainbows and flowers that pop up. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. So I don't know if these flowers change depending on what area are you in. That would be kind of cool. But, because they don't match these ones. But these are definitely, these are cards, but they're in like 3D space. So that you can see these from like every direction. And I think these are all in 2D space, maybe? Incredible. Okay, well, last one, Gunbreaker. So they have like a, another 1-2-3 finisher combo.
Yeah. So those last three. So it looks like it's right after their big combo. I love that little delay right at the end there. That's a really good timing. Like you just do this huge, like your character jumps up in the air. It's so big. And then you've got like the, on the little black slash afterwards to show like you've just cut through a dimension. <laughs> this thing right here. That pose at the end is so powerful. That just, you're going from here to whew. Like that's how quick it is. Whee! <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cartoonish, like you're flying through the air like that, but like it sells. Now you've got this going on outwards and then the explosion. And then, like, you're just, like, you've cut through a dimension. Like, see the whole combo. Yeah, I think it's using... Same explosion. There's the first ones. This shape. Oh, okay, it is a different explosion. Yeah. Or it could just be like the same textures, but in a different arrangement. Yeah, that the, the textures are only like four or five frames. And then like opacity and scaling effects. Yeah. The opacity and scaling that sells it at the end there to give it some extra movement but it's like it's the same texture frame and then of course they've got like their their iconic noise pattern on top of it and then like obviously these slashes and stuff and it looks like they're selling it on different planes, so you can see this in 3D, but it's still a 2D effect. Very nice. Very good timing on that. All right, well, that's uh, my reaction to the Dawn Trail Job Actions trailer. Um, wow, there was a lot to unpack there. I mean, I'm not an expert on all this stuff. I can't even name the abilities. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people who are breaking down much better than me. But uh, yeah, that was fun. That was really cool. Uh, so it's going to be... F I, I wanna, I'm very interested to see on how some of them play because they said they're reworking Dragoon, meaning uh, they're going to change how it plays, how it feels. Right now, currently, Dragoon jumps feel very laggy. Like you jump and then you're like locked in this animation. And even though the animation's finished, you're still locked in it. And that's how people have been getting like hit by mechanics because... The, the the ability is finished, but their character is still in this additional animation lock, so they can't actually move or react. Um, and it looks like the new jumps, like you have, they're a lot faster and you're able to just move immediately afterwards. So that's going to be really nice. Uh, it will be interesting to see the Star Diver because they jumped back quite far before they used that ability. Because, uh, can even find it.
Because they said they were really reworking this one. <clears throat> yeah, that's... I, that might only be 15 yalms, but it looks more. It just be the camera angle. Yeah, see, you're you're on the ground instantly after that attack. Um, but you're doing the animation of getting up, and I don't know if this animation is still going on. I don't know if you can move immediately afterwards. But we'll see. See, they're already on the ground here, and then. They're doing a little spinny, and then now you're up. So can you start moving at this point, or do you have to wait till that, that point? Because that's like a full second. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Pictomancer looks really good. I can't wait to try that. Um, I'll definitely be leveling that, like, right away. And Summoner is just... Hmm. That, whatever that new Bahamut is, looks so good. So good. And Warrior? Oh, I am excited. I am excited. Woo! Alright, well, sound off in the comments below. See what jobs you are most excited about and what changes and anything that you noticed that I didn't. Because, uh, obviously, a lot of the healers, I didn't know what was kind of going on. I don't really play healers. I have them leveled up. Except for Sage, I'm still leveling that one. And then Reaper, I'm still leveling that one, obviously. And, uh, and what do you think about Viper? Because... That five uh, finish combo at the end was just nuts. Like, they're just going KO Ken times 10. <laughs> like, they just go all over the place. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here. So, uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Give it, like, you know, that sweet little thumbs up. And uh, subscribe for more content. I'm going to be doing live streaming. And I've got all my 3D assets on for VTubers. Um, in the link below, I got my shop open. So, all right. And uh, drink some water. Stay hydrated. Be kind to someone today, even if it's yourself. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.